Hello! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lila, if you don't already know. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my natural DIY vegan nappy cream. This is going to be part of my cloth nappy and playlist. So be sure to subscribe to watch that whole playlist if you are already cloth nappy in or thinking about cloth nappy in. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the ingredients I use, the amounts, and the step-by-step -step instructions of how I make it. It's a really simple cream. It doesn't take long at all to make and you're saving so much money guys. Once you've got your ingredients in the house, it's gonna make quite a lot of batchfuls. I'm gonna jump in and show you how to do it. And I'll put the ingredients and the instructions down below in the description box as well. So firstly, the main bulk, the main ingredient is, oh my gosh, coconut oil. So I've got a nice massive litre one here. Coconut oil is natural, safe for your baby and it is jam-packed with vitamin E, which is super hydrating for baby's bum. It's also a really great antibacterial and antifungal, so it's going to help prevent yeast infections and nappy rashes, all kinds of things like that. Using something natural like this is a great base for your nappy cream. The second ingredient I've got here is some shea butter, which is, again, very similar to coconut oil. It's super hydrating, packed with vitamin E and A. Again, it's a really great antifungal. We don't want no yeast infections in this house. Next up, we got some arrowroot powder, which is basically just a thickening agent. It's something similar to like corn flour. Um, it's just gonna help thicken that cream up so it's not super oily. Then we are gonna be using vitamin E in an oil form. So you can get vitamin E capsules as well. Um, but I just bought this one in a bottle so that I can continue to use it for future batches of cream. And then lastly, I've got a little bottle of lavender essential oil. You're only gonna be using a tiny little bit of lavender essential oil, literally like a couple of drops. Lavender essential oil is another product that um, has antibacterial benefits, so that's why we're including it in this recipe. It also just gives it that tiny little scent. It's not gonna be overpowering, it's not gonna be a big scent, but it's just enough. Gotta remember, this is a really natural, basic cream, so it is gonna smell very natural. So I am gonna go ahead and show you how I mix this all together. So you're gonna need a quarter of a cup of the coconut oil and that's going to go straight into a pan. You could also use a bowl over hot water but I choose to put it over the hob. Now in goes the shea butter. We've got two tablespoons of shea butter going in alongside the coconut oil. I'm now going to pour in a quarter of a teaspoon of the vitamin E, but just a tiny amount. For using capsules, just use one capsule. And then now I'm going to add the two drops of lavender essential oil. Just be careful that you don't overdo it with the essential oil. Obviously it can be quite potent. Okay, so now I am going to move on over to the hob. I've put on a really gentle low heat and I'm just going to continuously stir until everything is melted in. Just nice and gradual, letting it melt. As you can see, it's all melted now, so I'm gonna turn this off the heat and take you over to the next step. So for this step, I like to use this hand electric whisk. It's just gonna um, help blend in that arrowroot powder. Obviously the mixture is still quite hot, so try not to splash yourself. <laughs> and I'm gonna be adding in the arrowroot powder gradually, bit by bit, whilst wixing. Wixing? Whisking. <laughs> Okay, so now it looks a lot more white in consistency. It was really hard to film it and and whiz, but what I actually did was I tilted the pan like this with one hand and then used the hand blender in the liquid because of the depth of the water. It was able to um, mix it a lot better. And so that is it, guys. I've now got my 
glass amber jar, but obviously you could use any container you liked. I'm going to pour this straight in and leave it to set in the fridge. Okay, so I've popped the jar in the fridge to set. I'm going to have a cup of tea and I'll get it out when it's set and show you the consistency, what it looks like. Because you're using natural ingredients, this is a safe mixture for cloth nappies. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the other cloth nappying videos within this playlist. So look how white it's gone. Now that it's set, it just needs to come down to room temperature and it will be ready to start using. Hope you've enjoyed this DIY nappy cream video. Any suggested cloth nappying videos, drop them in the comments below and any videos at all really. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!